Hi there, my name is Ivern, and welcome back to Growth SMP. May I ask you a question? Do you like sand? Because, uh, I sure don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome back. My, as I said before, my name is Ivern, and we're on the Growth SMP server. We have done quite a lot in between episodes. I've been kind of just time-lapsing everything. Just kind of getting started, so let me show you what I've been doing. So yes, that is correct. I have dug out all of the sand uh, because we are doing this next. <laughs> I have markers set out for each level that, that we want to do. So this is going to come around and kind of slowly sweep this direction and end at, the, at this height. This will be the lowest we go. Uh, so in doing that, to get as much sand as possible, I need to dig out as much sand as possible. Um, yeah, so this has been a hectic, uh, a hectic time. I still have a little bit left. Uh, only so much that you can dig at once. Uh, I've repaired these shovels so many times. I'm glad that I have two of them. Uh, but yeah, let me. But now that I've kind of shown that off, let me show you what I've kind of done over here. That is correct. I made our cliff face. <laughs> it's not entirely done. Uh, it's going to be connecting all the way over. Like you see the red sandstone. I'm using those as markers. It's going to connect all the way that like over here. And then eventually this will come out farther over the actual like the actual cavern and kind of probably be supported out here in, in the desert somewhere. Kind, kind of like a standalone pillar that goes up and helps it kind of connect in and then we're going to slowly but sure but surely we're going to be, co be covering up all this like all of this and this is going to be our cavern space uh the whole the whole goal is that it's absolutely fucking massive <laughs> um i don't think this whole thing will be a pool uh i think mostly over here will be uh, i might have to redig out all this That'll be obnoxious. Um, but we but we won't talk about that. Uh, actually, I will need 
need to redig out all that. That is obnoxious. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I think I want it mostly over here, like in this section, but like down a bit, like down towards ground ground level, if not a little bit lower, because that's where water pools. Uh, and over here, we might have like more of like, I I don't know. Oh hey, what what's up, a creeper? How did how did you spawn, bunny? I I have this place pretty. Oh right there. That would do it. There we go. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to light this place up as much as possible. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's been a little rough. Uh, however, I absolutely love how this is coming along, and I absolutely love how this looks from the underside. But uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I did, I did, I did want to mention before we get too far. Uh, it's not, I, I'm not in totally in love with it. Oh, my, my creeper farm still on shit. Okay, so it might lag a bit here. Uh, but we have ourselves a little dono wall now. Uh, even, eventually I plan to put up any fan art we get. Not dono wall, I don't, it might become that for streams, so, uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, but it will be a fan art section, so if, uh, if you guys, in, uh, make fan art, love doing art, and want to kind of contribute, please let me know. Uh, you can reach me on Twitter or in my Discord. Uh, both are linked down down below. Uh, but yeah, we have a wall, and if there's any art, I will put it up on the wall here. Uh, I've, I have a few that I need to add, so uh, give me a moment. I, uh, I see quite the resemblance, huh? <laughs> uh, me and my son. Uh, this lovely picture did not mean to take that screenshot. This lovely picture is by Low Streams on Twitter and Twitch. Uh, they did a lovely like five minute drawing challenge. I absolutely, I absolutely love this. Uh, it's so cute. <laughs> uh, that's all that I really have for now. Uh, I would love to add more. So if, if you got something, please reach out. I'd love to add you here and I'd love to add like a little like if you could put like a watermark just so we can have your name. Uh, otherwise that falls on me to come up with something, which I can, uh, <laughs> but I don't have that right now. So before the next segment, I kind of did want to show off the amount of sand we have. Uh, just about the entire desert is encased in these. It is an insane amount. I, uh, for a while, was also putting them all into here, which uh, this is quite a large amount as well. I forgot I took these off. Uh, quite a large amount. So we have plenty of sand for days. And uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm lo looking forward to actually changing out how everything is because the whole like gimmick of what we're doing here is the desert's going to be about the same distance as or like the same design as it was before just if, uh, if I break my legs this will be out to like this point and then arcing over and then slowly arc arcing down and back as we go off this direction which will be like our low laying land, which is where our crops will go. Uh, and then there will be a pathway through the village and up into our cave. So uh, I'm looking for forward to it, it's really coming along. I kind of shot myself in the foot here with some of this netherrack stuff, but I didn't really know, oh, there's sand. Uh, but I didn't I didn't really know what I was doing with, with it quite yet. So I'm, I'm going to forgive myself for now. Uh, I probably won't in a little bit, but for now I'll forgive myself. Uh, however, that does lead me to our next kind of like issue. <laughs> I'm I'm sick of seeing sand. Uh, I, I'm really excited to keep going, and I really want to. Like I I really like how this turned out. Uh, that that could be fixed. Uh, but I really like how how this turned out overall. I might. The more I'm looking at it, the more I dislike this like an entrance way here but i think if we add stuff like our actual watchtower here and more of like an envi environment around this space i think it'll help it uh as well as actually giving the other half of this half you know uh this other half of the half the other half of this hole so i i think i think if we give that it like if we actually work on this it'll look bet look better because as we go as we go, the, I like I like this more and more. I really like this little curve. Um, absolutely in love with it. At first, I could not stand it, but uh, now I love it. <laughs> so, 
Uh, it's a work in progress, and that's kind of what I'm telling telling myself for everything. It is a massive work in progress. However, I'm going a little stir crazy. Uh, so I've been trying to I've been trying to help out around the server more, and in do in doing so, I've kind of taken up the man the mantle as someone who work on pathways on the Nether roof. So that's one thing that I need to work on. I, I don't know if I'll get to it this episode, but it's something that we definitely do plan to work on to kind of help get to a lot of the out out or reaching people. Uh, one being, I think, plasma. Plasma fool is like us, but like on the other side of the server. So let me fly over over here real quick, and I will show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're at the shopping district portal. If if we go this direction, like this is just the I've just been going straight. If we go this direction, we'll reach Plasma's uh, pathway. It's really far out here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really far out, uh, and I think they want to reconnect it elsewhere, as in like take it down this way and connect it down there, which would be perfect for us. Uh, there is also a chance that we do, well, I mean, I, th I, guess, I guess with Jake and them we wouldn't, but there's a chance of, of that we get tasked with these here. Uh, there's a good chance we do rares. That all depends. Uh, I don't really know what the plan is for a lot of people. Uh, I know that we do need to get prints connect connected in here in general. Uh, but I know someone else is working on that. I don't know who, but someone else. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but that's our going to be- what the fuck? Why is there just a penis in the sky? Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. Um, yeah, so this is like going to be our little task for now. Uh, I- just so that I can get away from the sand for the time being. Uh, however, in the meantime, uh, Sand Ahoy, also, I guess these aren't spawn proof. I'm very surprised nothing has spawned on these yet. Oh no, you aren't spawn proof. Okay. Very surprised nothing spawned on that then. Uh, that's insane. But, uh, yeah, I want to take us to the shopping district real quick. We have a bunch of fun stuff go going on there. Okay, so uh, the shop, the shopping district has uh, kind of taken on a life of its own outside of the life it already took. Uh, we are slowly being encased into a mountainside, which is absolutely stunning. It is insane for the amount of work that Thrice has put into this, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I, I'm really looking forward to seeing this like finalized. I, I don't I don't know if they're going to add stuff on the roof like uh, lush cave stuff uh, or get rid of that. <laughs> uh, however, we've been kind of making some stonks at the at the good old shopping district stand here. Uh, I don't I don't know if I showed this off, but we actually sold our whole care package, which was like a whole new set of netherite gear and then a bunch of stuff to kind of get you back up to speed, minus in a light truck, because I because I can't sell those. Um, I guess I could technically sell my own, uh, but that'll probably make the mods mad, which is how we get them. Uh, but yeah, so we have someone who sold that. So we have to we have a 40 diamond IOU because Relic didn't have a, a, as much, which if not, if this is all we get, that's fine. Uh, I do plan to restock this for a lower price of um, diamond gear in case something happens, uh, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Also, I have a cat, so I'll be right back. So with this whole care package sold, I'm looking forward to kind of getting some more gear. I, I've kind of like half done it, so it, it might be a nice uh, a nice break from sand. Oh I, oh, I forgot to take this down. Shit. This was me. I'm the only one on the server who likes birch. <laughs> Uh, so anything left behind, people can tell it's me. Uh, I also took down a sign that was up here. There was a sign for Boomco, which is, uh, Sam and Domino. They're, uh, they sell anything and everything gunpowder. Uh, however, I've kind of, don't tell them, but do tell them. Uh, I've kind of tapped into their market a bit. <laughs> Uh, with the gunpowder we got last ep episode and mixed with our sugar with our sugarcane farm, I've been selling rockets for one diamond per stack. 
because we go through like at least I go through a ton at a time and it's like they they were selling it for one diamond per half stack so are we undermining them a good bit yes but uh, I think I think it's worth it because we'll be losing our book sale soon to thrice himself uh, the man who's in casing us because uh, he'll be selling books for one diamond per each so we will be losing that market so I I'm honestly just trying to get out as much as I can like eke, eke, eke out what I can from any department because uh, no one really wants honeycomb or honey like honey has it hasn't really sold I probably will need to change the prices on this I might be one one diamond per uh, half a stack I think that might help it sell sell better uh, and honeycomb however we have had some pe some people buy that which is nice uh, I did not know that have we bought frog lights no frog light Ooh, we sold some yellow ones I have to get some more of these uh, these I, these actually surprisingly sell like really quickly I uh, was not expecting that uh, let's see here oh we did sell some books uh, oh okay and oh okay cool uh, I think I think some mods have been on recently and I don't think they've really explored too much out outside of uh, their own spaces so I wouldn't be shocked if they were getting up their gear uh, so about half a stack of diamonds I will take that <laughs> uh, that seems like that seems like like a good day's haul uh, but yeah I'm really loving this like in all real reality I love this uh, out this little uh, stall it served us well and uh, I think uh, it has like a monthly rent that, that we pay in there uh, but I think it's worth I think it's worth it so one big thing I don't I don't know if you've seen it as we've kind of gone around around on the server like I guess this episode last episode really like the past like two months worth of like ep time on the server uh, but we have a, a like a presidential election on the server coming up uh, we get to see who becomes president we all get to vote in there the vat e the vati uh, we get to do that and we have a long a laundry list of characters characters uh, of people who will be vying for this space uh, this is I didn't show this off if uh, if someone from from the server is watching this is so cool <laughs> um, I, I really like it does is this spawn is this spawnable this looks spawnable this might be half slabs up up, up here no they aren't they're just uh, taking a risk I guess okay uh, <laughs> this makes me uncomfortable this this makes me uncomfortable how about you you are spawn are spawnable hell is spawnable uh, only you though which is uh, interesting okay however we have multiple people who will be running on the server for both president and vice president if I remember to grab oh, okay hello mr. spawnable that's actually kind of cool <laughs> uh, let's go up there and help that out because uh, last thing we need is spawns especially creepers creeper spawns are bad uh, I'm assuming that he died yes he did okay let's go ahead and just go on up yeah this is just completely spawnable <laughs> and fixed that's a uh, one thing that we kind of haven't had to deal with for a long time here is a uh, is spawns uh, they've done a really good job of keeping this spawn proof except for like underneath it where we aren't are uh, which is nice however we have a voting house now uh, I wonder if this is spawn proof this is spawn proof okay uh, yeah so so we have ballots uh, I don't know whose barrel is who uh, however we do have several candidates oh I forgot to mention this is Jorge or George whichever one you want to call him uh, he, he makes sure that no one cheats and puts too many ballots in uh, however if I remember to put it on screen I will put on screen or list whoever is going for both president or vice president uh, we are not going to be a candidate I'm not someone who personally likes elect elections in both real world and like games uh, I, I will be voting 
uh, I will participate. Uh, however, I don't really have much stake in this. Uh, I don't. I don't really know what everyone's kind of offering, nor do I honestly care. <laughs> uh, I don't interact with them nearly enough. Uh, the only one that really impacts me currently is thrice because i believe thrice is running for president of the server uh and he's promised i guess discounts to everyone who's renting from him so so far that's the only one that really uh sways my opinion uh but besides that yeah <laughs> you know uh i guess but just look at this shit dude uh, i'm i'm assuming yeah this ain't spawn proof this is deadly as all hell. But like this thing just looks epic. Like this like this thing's so large. I think I think Thrice had this all mapped out and all planned. However, it's still very impressive to see. Uh, I believe there is an underside he, he plans on doing. Yeah, there uh, there are like sewers or, or something he plans to work on. Uh, but I don't know too much about that and I don't want to spoil too much. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, our big old Christmas tree is gone. But uh, that's kind of it on like big server updates. So now that we've kind of looked at at everything and kind of, and kind of caught up on everything, uh, there's really not much left that I have to show. <laughs> um, the main things that I want to talk about now is just kind of like telling you guys what to expect for the fut for the future. Uh, the things that I want to work on first is honestly kind of just getting the rest of this base bowl kind of filled out. Uh, now that we took the time to kind of get the sand out out of, out of here, I really want to get the kind of final placement down because I'm tired of seeing like this, like all of this can go. <laughs> uh, so that's the next thing I want to work on, just kind of like getting our bowl and our design down and then kind of... I think I might want to switch off and work on and work back over in the little village here because I feel like I, I just kind of left it <laughs> um, mostly just because whenever I fly over here this feels very much out of place and I kind of just want to I don't want to do too much right right now I just want to kind of touch up on it and kind of either make these more of like the housing section or like make this something more important maybe make these like market stalls just to kind of like sit outside of this and kind of like make this a whole market center uh this can be like a uh insurance office i don't fucking know uh, <laughs> and then get get that pathway going out this direction for some crops those are kind of those are kind of like the main things that i want to work on currently uh i do want to get I know I talked about it before, but I do want to get some leaves and kind of put them along the backside here. Uh, I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> um, but but besides that, I don't really have much else. Uh, I'm I'm really excited excited for how much this is coming together. I very I very much can't like I can't wait to see where it goes and kind of what happens. Uh, I'm trying to decide how much of this I want to tear down. Or how much I want I want to keep because like ideally I get rid of this little internal se section but that'll be like its own project <laughs> like its own massive project that I would need to spend a whole day on uh, and it might be better to just wait until we're done uh, I really don't know the more I'm thinking about it the more I should probably start to tear that down because it is kind of messing with my sense of depth it specifically did that on the front here because we're very close to where the actual mountain was so we 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 might do that i'm not entirely entirely sure however oh is that a is that a, is that a special spider that is a special spider hell yeah you can die I'm trying to hide from me no it's impossible <laughs> um however i think that will be i think that will be all that i have for today um, once again, we have this art wall that I'd love for you guys, uh, we have our lag wall, uh, <laughs> that I'd love for you guys to kind of send artwork in, if you have it, if you're interested, if not, that's fine too, but, uh, we now have a spot for it, so, with that, with that being said, guys, I wanted to thank you all so much for watching, I, I hope to see you in the next one, and, uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe so that you get back here, and, uh, yeah, I will see you guys then, bye y'all.